So in this problem, we're told to find f, and f prime of x is equal to 9 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We're told that f of 1 half is equal to 7. So let's just start by writing our function. So f prime of x is equal to, and then we can rewrite 9 over the square root of 1 minus x squared as 9 times 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So that's just going to make it easier to solve. I'll show you why in a second because they're basically the same thing. So what we're trying to find is f of x. So in order to find f of x, we have f prime of x, we can take the antiderivative derivative to get f of x. So what is the antiderivative of nine times one over the square root of one minus x squared? So it's basically just nine times the antiderivative of this. So what is the antiderivative of one over the square root of one minus x squared? Well, if you recall that the derivative of the arc sine of x it's equal to uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so if the derivative of this is going to be equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, the antiderivative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared is going to be the arc sine of x. So you uh, that's something you could recognize, or you could just know that the antiderivative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared is the arc sine of x. But either way, uh, f of x is going to be equal to 9 times the arc sine of x, uh, but then we got to add plus c because we're taking the antiderivative of this function. So f of x is going to be equal to this. Then what we need to do is basically solve for c using um, what they give us here. So we know that at one half it's going to be equal to seven. So seven is going to be equal to nine times the arc sine one half plus c. So seven equals nine times the arc sine. 1 half, so what is the arc sine of 1 half? Well, so basically, um, when does the sine of 1 half, uh, when does that equal 1 half? So it equals at pi, over th at pi over 6. So the arc sine of 1 half is pi over 6. So if we multiply that, 9 times pi over 6, it's going to be 9 pi over 6. And then we can simplify that to uh, 3 pi over 2. We divide by 3. So we have 7 equals 3 pi over 2 plus c. And if we want to get c by itself, we just subtract um, 3 pi over 2 from both sides. So c is equal to 7 minus 3 pi over 2. Now that we got c, we just got to plug it in, and then that's going to be our answer. So we have f of x equals 9 times the arc sine of x plus c, which is 7 minus 3 pi over 2. So this is going to be the answer to this question.